Welcome back for another episode. Today we're going to talk about my VC Valiant, which I picked up from a farm in Sydney approximately two years ago. This car was advertised as relatively rust free. You can see that is not the case if you look at the uh, inner quarters. I picked up this car for relatively little money. It was about a thousand bucks, plus three or four hundred dollars for transportation. I got the car, and as soon as I got the car, my heart sank because I realized how rusty the whole thing was. I looked at the floors, the floors were completely rotted out, and I thought to myself, wow, this is gonna to turn to a big project. The car came about 60% complete with a few parts, a lot of the parts were crappy. Anyway, so over this time, I've mucked around with the car, I've tried to, you know, uh, increase my skills, my rust repair skills and everything like that. So, you can see the floor there, it needs to be finished. I've got the front floor pans in and the rear floor pans, but everything's really rough. I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm still learning. I put in chassis connectors, they're only tucked in, these things over here. But yeah, look, you know, probably in the last couple of weeks I pulled my finger out and I will actually decided what I want to do with this car. The car's too far gone restoration wise, I'm not going to, to restore it to OEM or anything like that. I've decided I want to build a drag car. I'm interested in building a gasser with a straight axle front end. Depending on cost, this is low budget, meaning no budget. You know, it's it's a typical tight ass Valiant owner type scenario. But anyway, I've got paint lying around and what I did in the last week was I've sprayed the roof here. It's uh, got a metal flake finish with a lace silver pattern on the roof. I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I actually achieved this finish. So basically, I had um, uh, sanded this so it's bare metal, epoxy primer, there's no filler in it, and then I scuffed up the epoxy primer, I laid gold base coat, and in that gold I actually put some flake in there, because I thought maybe I'll give that a shot. But what actually happened was, on the second or third pass, I found that I was actually covering the flake, and so it was bumpy, but you couldn't see any of the reflections. So I think I made a mistake there. But anyway, this car is to learn on, basically. So after I had done that, I actually had sprayed clear coat over that and left it for a little bit. Then I scuffed up the surface 800 grit, so the next layer would, would, would stick, being the silver lace. I went to Spotlight, I went to the bargain bin, $4 for the fabric that you see over here. And then after I scuffed everything and, and wet sanded it 800, I laid it over and then I, I, I stuck it down. Um, I put a thick piece of masking tape along the edge there. Then I got a really thin piece of masking tape to create the, the circular edges. If you see, if you come around over here, you can see it a little bit better over here. So everything's uniform. I literally just winged it, you know, I thought about it beforehand, I didn't just start doing it, you know what I mean, I just, I thought about it, exactly what I needed to do. So the silver is, I'm going say it's been silver, again paint I've just got lying around, I sprayed it, I probably sprayed it a little bit too heavy because some of the pattern is a little bit blurry, um, and then after that I got clear with three types of flake, uh, each of the flake was only 25cc, so the tiny little bottles that you see, and they were $14 each, so it wasn't very expensive. I mixed everything up, and then I go to spray it, and then my gun jams, because the nozzle tip was too small. I think it was only 1.4. So anyway, I've got a spare gun. I quickly put mixed up more clear, and then poured a little bit of the flake in there, so there wasn't as much, it was quite a lot. It was about 75 cc worth of flake, and then when I sprayed it, well, I think it was a 1.6 tip, I just went very carefully, and this is what uh, resulted. It was awesome. I've got glitter everywhere in the spray booth, you know, but it was a bit of fun. So this is what you see here, and basically from here, what I need to do is I need to block it because it's actually a little bit, you can feel the flake there. What you want to do is you want to block that, and then you're going to flow coat it. So blocking it will uh, get everything smooth, and then flow coating it will add that extra depth while also um, you know, making it nice and shiny again. So yeah, so if you look, come around this side here, I've actually cut out the boot floor, 
like I said, this thing's gonna turn out to be a drag car, so I'm not really too concerned. When I get around to it, I'll get around to it. Yeah, but I look, I had a little bit of fun with the roof, and that's what it's all about. If you've got a car that you can learn on, that really doesn't cost you too much money, that's the way to go. So, yeah, if you come out here, I'll show you inside. On it. There's not much to look at besides what I've done on the roof. I've just got round to paint stripping it, but look, it looks okay, um, rust-wise, but you know, the more you dig, the more you'll find, as I always say. I'll probably have to replace the bonnet, it's very, very rusty on the inside here, but... Anyway, look, I thought that I'd give you a little bit of a, a rundown on the VC Valiant. I've got a 318 block um, lying around, I've actually got two 318 blocks lying around. I would love to go 440. I don't know whether it's legal if I can go straight axle front end to drive on the street, uh, but I think that would be really, really cool for a, a 1960s type gasser, especially with the look of the roof. Uh, I'm not sure what colour I'm going to paint the body, so if you've got any recommendations, please let me know. Thanks very much, guys.